Well, tonight we are continuing to follow up on a report issued last week about the city of Buffalo's response to the December blizzard. Now that report said the city's emergency vehicle fleet was not sufficient to handle that storm. Fire trucks and ambulances got stuck in the snow, only adding to the emergency. The president of the Buffalo Firefighters Union tells our Kristen Moran why he believes that report is way off the mark. Vinnie Ventresca has heard the trauma that Buffalo's bravest faced on the front lines of the Christmas blizzard over and over. Now, a week after the release of the 180-page NYU blizzard report, the president of Buffalo's fire union is holding nothing back. There's nothing more than a fluff piece put together in an effort to slowly cover up the glaring failures of people in leadership roles within the city of Buffalo up to, during, and after the blizzard. The report states Buffalo's emergency vehicle fleet was not sufficient to respond to the blizzard, which killed 31 people in Buffalo. The city is purchasing 14 pieces of fire equipment, with some expected to arrive by October. Another potential idea the city is exploring, buying a used fire truck from 2007. A 2007 model from another department is better than what we currently have. On top of that, Ventresca says there was no plan in place for the fire department prior to the storm. When citizens are out there freezing to death, like think about how that affects first responders. That's all we want to do is help people. And we were incapable of doing it because of the lack of preparedness. After the report came out, Mayor Byron Brown introduced a 20 person task force to help respond to future storms and implement the report's recommendations like communication, coordination and equipment. We have to be proactive, uh, not reactive. Uh, the work that we will do as this task force will be done prior to getting into storm situations. The goal here is to update our emergency plan. The city also has new roles to fill, including a fleet manager and emergency operations manager, which will help with future storms. Maybe this person can pull it all together. I did reach out to a city spokesperson about these concerns. The city responded with a statement saying the blizzard was difficult on everyone, and they thank first responders for their heroic actions. Ventresca says he hopes Buffalo's bravest can plan with the city before another storm strikes. We'd love to work together and get things done. Krista Moran, 7 News, Buffalo.